Hello and welcome. This morning I would like to do a quick tutorial on how to create a product catalog page or a line sheet as some people call it. So I've just jumped into Canva and I've just got a blank A4 size document and we're going to get straight into designing. So come with me, let's go. So first of all I'm going to hit T for text and we're going to put a title and let's just put not quite sure what we're going to call this just yet. And maybe some more text and we'll just put Maybe use the space. So if you use this little key here, the spacing key, and we're just going to make the letter spacing a bit bigger. It just puts a bit more of a gap in between the letters, space it out a bit better. I'm actually thinking that maybe this should be so okay. So we can fiddle around with the fonts once we get our information down. So the first thing that I would like to do here is go to elements and we're going to grab a grid. So we're just going to go with the plain grid. And we're just going to adjust that to drag the corners in. And we're just going to, I'm going to go three wide across the page. So one, two, make it a little bit smaller. About that size. Okay. Next, we are going to put some text underneath. So we need text. There we go, capitals again. We are going to put the item in here. Sometimes it's hard on a laptop to line things up. And then maybe we'll make that bold and space it out a little bit too. And if you use, let's just duplicate that. Do like to make this bigger so that if you have an item with lots of text, it doesn't just automatically go to the next line or fit. So let's make that a bit smaller. Okay, and then underneath that, we're going to have a description. So leave a little bit of a gap. Okay. Back to the normal and change this to lower case and we're just going to put short description now I don't like it being bold so let's take that out okay so just 
So we need a line or something to break it up. Or actually, let's put down our options first. So let's just say we have multiple different colors. So if we have multiple different colors, we can use this round frame and just make it small. We try to go five by five. So if we go there and we can, I don't know how many colors color options you might have, but let's just line some up. Five. Okay, so let's say we've got five different color options. Then we are going to put a line, so L for line. We're going to make that super thin. Oops, wrong one. We'll go the weight. That's a lot thinner. Let's drag that so it's in line with the edge of the picture. Okay, and then underneath that line, we are going to do a price. So let's put the T for text. And we're going to go with let's just a couple. For the price. Make it bold if we can. And click back in, make a bold, and let's space it out a bit more. And let's do another one after me. Let's go with the RRP. And then we're going to put in our price amount section. So let's do a sign. And let's just make up price. Put that there. Recommended okay, retail. Let's just go. You like how it looks, okay, let's have a look. Let's put some pictures in just to make sure that we like it. So, let's just go. Let's put them in here for now. And we're going to pick some colors here just so that we have something in here. Let's just click on them and then just pick the colors out of that photo. Okay, so let's see a little bit. You like how that's coming along? It looks okay. So when it's got um, lots of different elements, you quite often can't group them together. So let's just highlight them all. And then we're gonna go with duplicate. Duplicate again. 
Okay. Now we have three across. Let's see if we can get three below as well. Okay, I think that's starting to look pretty good. The one thing I don't like is no gap between, like, like the small gap between the top and the bottom. So I might put a line across there, so just to separate it. So if we hit L for line, make it as thin as possible again. Drag that to this line. Yeah, but that line goes red and then we go down. Okay, so we have a divider there. I think we might also do one at the bottom. Okay, and then what else do we need on there? Probably business name or website or something at the bottom. No, it's not lined up on there. Let's fix that. Okay. So maybe if we hit a T for text and then down the bottom here, we could just put it on this. Maybe we'll just leave it like that for now. Okay, so I'm liking how it's looking. I'd probably fiddle around with the actual fonts a bit and find some fonts that I like a bit more. But that's basically how you do a line sheet now. If you wanted to make it clickable, like put some clickable links in, you could always make your photos clickable by clicking on the actual image and using this link and then just adding in um, a URL that you'd like it to go to. Um, and, or you could put a button or like a colour behind the price or something so they could click on it and go directly to the item so you could link that. So there are a couple more ideas. Um, Maybe it should go up slightly. Put a bit more space in there. But yeah, that's how you make a line sheet or product catalog page. Um, you can do circles. Um, you can do any shape you like with the frames. I just thought I'd go with a uh, square, the square or rectangle. I'm not sure, but I just thought I'd go with an um, actual grid to show you how to do it quickly and easily. So if you have any questions, drop them below. Um, but yeah, happy designing. Have a great day.